update my stream title just so I have it right. Okay, we're updated. This could be a real quick run if this doesn't work. Where's my zop me? Oh, it didn't work anyway, it just goes alphabetical. Nice. Ah, uh, look how, look how, he's just stunning. He's just so beautiful. <laughs> oh my god. Why? Use them? No, we're not gonna use them. only way I'm going to get past this first part here is to... Oh my gosh, the negative stat run. Uh, that was just wild, the fact that that would even, like, do anything. Okay, I can't run. I know this from previous games, but I'm going to try anyway because it's funny. Um, it's our first safety save, is right? <laughs> In this first room, I've taken one step. Really? There we go. I was gonna say, that was really forgiving. I did die eventually, it's true. The question is, will I die eventually just from walking around like this? We might be on a timer, I might need to shift screens more often. I just wanna see, do you die? Unfortunately, there's no hotkeys in this game either. Okay. Interesting. It seems like it is trick. How is it making my stamina go up? Alright, if I get into a fight, I'm dead. So let's not get into a fight. Luckily, my dude is the fastest power walker in the world. That stupid croc never stood a chance. Run away! Walk away! <laughs> I know, negative stamina drain. Let's see where we're at. Okay, we're at two. Somehow we've got three puzzle points. I guess from going to the savannah, maybe. <laughs> All right, I am going to try to get the components. This might kill me. Do I really have to leave and come back? Maybe I do. It's been a while since I've done this route legitimate, and I've never done a 100% category for this game. Like, this used to be part of the actual route until the, uh, the, uh, David's Do Good or Ditch glitch was invented. Maybe it took away one from my, uh, fake stamina. Okay, I still have one health. My strength's up to five, because I'm a monster. Correct, this one was not part of the original script. That'd be funny if resting set my health down and I died from resting. <laughs> and I'd literally just have to walk all night. Luckily, Arnie is here to save us. Get out of here, Earth Pig. Oh yeah, timer start. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, they it thematically felt that the uh, that the thief may not uh, be ready for uh, Tarna or for uh, the, to face the Dark One immediately. So they they added this one in. I'm gonna go back and forth here. 
running off screen like this using the arrow keys uh, prevents RNG encounters from happening, so I can't be in battle. Yep, that was part of it. Also, I think they may have wanted to figure out the VGA engine before they uh, put their masterpiece to work. <laughs> okay, are we going to swear an oath? Heck no. I look like a fighter. I'm a th Do I look like an uh, I'm honorable? I'm a zob, zob me. If you've never seen this glitch before, if you've never seen this glitch before, this is neat. This is the DDD glitch. That would be funny if Rakish did. But uh, we're not going to wait for Rakish to walk us to death. We are going to take control of this caravan, uh, as we just did. The game is now set in a weird limbo state. Um, time is frozen. I cannot get into RNG encounters. Um, if I walk to the fourth screen, it immediately takes us to the end game. Instead, I am going to go to the Simbani village. I'm going to deal with this guy first, and then I'm going to see if I can actually gain strength. <laughs> exactly, and I die. <laughs> he's looking at me, he's like, personally, I've never seen anybody so absolutely weak as you are in my entire life there, Prince of Shapir. Now, when we're on the savannah, time is frozen. However, here, time is not. So, what do we have? No stamina, one health, five strength. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> okay. kind of what I expected. I thought I would at least get a cross. Oh yeah, very big dead. But if you did notice before, I did have some stamina. Look at this, two health. means I can safety save a lot. But I will probably die from doing this. Three health. Ten strength. Exactly, I'll get a metric. That's exactly what I'm thinking. Actually, I'm just going to pick up a ton of rocks. I don't know why I'm doing it one at a time. I'm just going to pick up a bunch. I'm over-encumbered. The moment I grabbed those grapes, I was over-encumbered. <laughs> I mean, the fact that I'm wearing armor leaves me over-encumbered. Oh, I'm not wearing armor. How am I not wearing armor? Or is that just not an item in this game? I never noticed that. Okay. Anyway. Let's save and see whether or not throwing can kill you. Because we know it can increase your strength. And if I had throwing, it would increase my throw. This is actually a really good way to... Good to know! Throwing does not seem to use stamina. <laughs> Very interesting. This is actually how we would quickly train um, throwing in the uh, fighter run. Now, while this may be the safe way to do it, I believe the Simbani village, once I have like enough health to not get knocked over by a, a, a light breeze, uh, would train strength a little bit faster.
Well, who would have thought it would have been this easy? Not me, I'm still not convinced it's gonna be easy. Okay, specifically the leather armor. That's really surprising. I did not realize that. Because it's in Quest for Glory 4, I just end. Well, I mean, the remake of 2, and actually 2. And 1. It's in every game except for this one. That's interesting that they didn't keep that. Does that mean that you have a base weight, encumbrance weight, in this game? that just has nothing to do with whether or not you're wearing armor. <laughs> uh, it may increase, replenish my stamina. I, I, I Good, I'm there. <laughs> it may replenish my health also, I don't know. Uh, this is actually taking a little longer than I expected it to to gain some semblance. I mean, to get, to use this to get to 300 is going to be uh, a little touchy. I think the health formula is um, one strength at two and um, for every three vitality or something like that. All right, take it easy, Aaron. Have fun with your, uh, have fun with your sneezers and sneezing at yourself. Check the earlier thing. Look at that carried weight. Like that would that would take out the strongest fighter right now. Or it would make me light as a feather. Here we go. This is just so strange to me that this doesn't kill me. I expected to have to use this to train up a little bit, rest, get some health back. Train up a little bit, rest, get some health back. Train up a little bit, rest, get some health back. I mean, I already have a pretty good health barometer. And if I were going to do a 1, 2, 3 challenge on this, where I import my character from 1, 2, to 3, it, it actually wouldn't be nearly as bad. In fact, maybe I'll do that next just for giggles. Um, not tonight. I won't have enough time to do it tonight. But uh, Quest for Glory 1 is... I think I did that on my first try in like 7 minutes, and that involved deaths. Uh, Quest for Glory 2 would not be nearly as tedious uh, because I could grab the Sapphire Pin if that's available. I'm still going to check that tonight if I can get this done. Um, but I wouldn't have to train from 1 all the way up to 150. It would only be 40. Actually, I would probably stay in Quest for Glory 1 for a while longer, get my strength up to like 100 there, and then go to Quest for Glory 2 because training on the door is so darn fast and free. Um, it makes sense to stay there for a little bit longer. And I would wish for agility and pick locks. And then, I, with agility, I would have stamina, which would mean that I could actually train on the, uh, the monkey bar thing. Yeah, that's how I would do it. And agility would also help with my uh, hit rate. Oh, those rusty nails are coming with me. I think that's really funny. I had a thousand and six rusty nails for ramming my head. Think about what. <laughs> All right, I, I, this is my weird mind. Um, most of you know I'm a pastor. What you might not realize is, is that I'm I'm a medieval theology and uh, medieval um, medieval just buff on whenever it comes to historical theology. So um, one of the things of history, that one of the legends of history is that the um, Iron Crown of the Lombards was said to have been made from um, some of the um, nails from the cross of Christ. Well, there were so many true nails from the cross of Christ across Europe, you probably could have built a throne out of them, is what the, what the running gag was. Um, that was during, like, the age whenever relics were just huge, and you were not a prestigious university castle or anything, a uh, church, unless you had relics that belonged to the actual apostles and disciples. So whenever I ended up ramming into the door... Uh, in Quest for Glory 2 to get a thousand and six nails, it makes me wonder, A, was the entire door made out of nails? Or two, B, 
or whatever you want it, number B, I guess. <laughs> uh, just how many times did they repair that door? C, how much tetanus was I carrying on me at that moment? <laughs> like, there's just, there's, there's a number of problems <laughs> that could evolve from this situation. All right, I've got 116 strength after that last run, so uh, it's not taking me too long. I'm going to hit 300 before too long. Uh, I might run up and... I think you can... I might be in trouble. I think one of Ash Lancer's patches was getting into the monkey village without climbing. But I'm a thief and I'm expected to have climbing. It is so interesting to me that it doesn't use stamina. That is 100% true. Just make sure, yeah, it's definitely healing pills. Let's see, what happens if I rest for 60 minutes? Can I rest for 60 minutes? Oh, I can rest for 60 minutes. I'm getting tired. I'm getting tired of you crying. Hmm. What a I might be in trouble. I might need to actually use Ash Lancer's patch, but I don't think I can create a one stat character using it. Um, okay, I'm going to use a few seconds here to collect some things that I need for the end game anyway. I'm going to pretend like I can't get to the end game even if it turns out later that I can't. What happens if I drink? Okay, nothing. I'm sure it would have been, uh, completely refilled my stamina, but... What I need to do is I need to get the ingredients for the Dispel Potion. I'm going to have to fight one demon no matter what. There's nothing I, I, I can't really see me getting away from that demon. I don't hit. You can sneak past him. You need to oil the hinges or you, and, and then pick the lock to get in. Or you can cast Calm and then open to get in. Or you can go Gangbusters and beat him up. And the only thing I think I'm going to be able to do is beat him up. I am really terrified of my ability to hit this guy, though. Alright, so we are going to use this. Alright, so we've got the... Gift from the heart of the world. You know what? I've never done this. Okay, you can't eat it. Seems like a glaring oversight. Over here, and then press down. You can go all the way to the bottom then. If you try to click down here at the bottom whenever you're up all the way in the doorway, it just takes you back into the door. It, does, it, route, it doesn't route correctly. Okay. Let's uh, get ourselves... Actually, we got to do a couple things here. The game is going to freak out a little bit. It's going to be really funny. Um, because you probably haven't seen me do things in this order. What's going to happen is I'm going to trigger the scene with the thief. And when I trigger the scene with the thief, I'm going to go into Raja's thing. And it's going to act as if I have accepted the mission and I'm going to go with Rakesh. Uh, so it's going to try to walk me out of town again. So I mean, I'm going to have to end up doing that DDD skip uh, like three or four times uh, because I did things in a janky order. I, I would still need to do it like three times. At least two. Oh! That's interesting. I've done this glitch before where things did not work out. I am very confused. Okay, well, uh, looks like I'm not going to have nearly the trouble that I thought I was going to with that. You know what? For giggles. Oh.
I'm going to safety save here. I have an idea. I'm going to give this guy the thief. Not this guy. It's this guy. I'm going to give this guy the thief sign, and I'm actually going to pay him. And I wonder if it's going to give... It, it, this, in theory, should give me agility. I don't know why I didn't think of this. I was actually thinking about this for the marathon run. So... Acrobatics, train. Ladies and gentlemen, we have agility. <laughs> Skyrim stole the idea. I I'm torn because that is a legitimate tactic. I used it in the last run. So I think I could use it in this run to make it work. Hmm. How do I want to handle this? I think I need the agility. The reason I think I absolutely 100% need the agility in this scenario is because um, I think each time I go to stab the demon, I'm just going to lose health. And I won't have any way to replenish my health. Like, you can wait for stamina to rebuild, but you can't wait for health to rebuild. So because I can't wait for health to rebuild, I would pretty much just be stabbing, hoping in the dark that that demon dies, and I don't care what, like, unless you can task this game on the fly, I, I, I would never hit him enough times to actually kill him. Yeah, I, I'm going to need the agility. But I did get it with from within the game, so I don't necessarily consider this to be a janky cheat, so let's be fair, this whole thing is a cheat. Let's see what we can get. By the way, I forgot to actually like buy the uh, dispel potion. I have all the ingredients. I just didn't. But I also forgot to refill my uh, uh, my pool of peace water, so I wouldn't be able to get it anyway. So I guess I'm in the right spot. This should also have the added benefit of training my agility. I'm beginning to think Quest for Glory 4 might not be so crazy after all. Um, there's a lot of things that, revive, um, rev, um, that rely on strength. So, for example, I can, um, if you can get into the swamp, you'll be fine. You can free Igor, you'll be fine. Yeah, you can hit a Igor, you'll be fine. What could I not do? Ah, uh, for a non... Well, yeah, as a non-fighter class, you can. Um, you can climb the swamp. Uh, you can climb into the swamp. I think we figured out you need, like, 250 or 300 health. Um, uh, the castle would be difficult. That would be trouble. Because the castle doors are locked. If you're a thief, that is actually class locked. Now, okay, to be fair, I don't know that. I doubt, but I am almost certain that it is determined by class. Um, okay, that did not increase my agility at all. I am really surprised by that. we at now okay we've got our agility back all right we've got some stamina now so i'm gonna come down here i should have bought some extra um i should have bought some extra uh, pills or, or um, water skids so i could fill up here 
we're gonna go to the Sambani village. Okay, she's gonna come out here. Apparently I am classy enough to climb this. I'm going to fall. Will I die? Probably not. But I need to know how much uh, how much that actually hurts me. Okay, it cost me six stamina and I think five health. Okay, so yeah, it looks like five health and yeah, it looks like six stamina. So let's go across. Okay, she won't let me because she's a she's a killjoy. Awesome. All right, that's a quick way for me to gain strength here. Because I think I can rest one time and that should refill what little stamina I have. Yep. And now I can get myself up to 300 health. Or 300 strength pretty easily this way. Yeah, this makes it a lot easier because you gain, I think, three. I think it's a three strength gain every time you go across. Let's just do a quick check. Okay, 166. This is way better than throwing rocks. Yeah, 169. What am I at? Okay, I'll just wait till it says I'm exhausted. Next, I'm going to have to train up my uh, agility. And that's going to involve a lot of falling. But this is a much more reliable way to get strength, I will say that. Which is good, because we're on our way. By the way, if you are interested in Quest for Glory, it is being run at uh, Games Done Quick this year. David TKI is uh, doing the run. He's going to be doing a EGA Quest for Glory 1, 100%, and the class is um, is uh, by donation. So there's going to be a bid war for the class. Now you'd have to ask him which would be the most difficult. David started out kind of as like a fighter specialist, but he's just kind of turned around, turned into like the all-around 100% guy. There's only a couple games where, like Quest for Glory 4, uh, I have him in some categories on 100%. Uh, I think Quest for Glory 2, EGA, I have him in the categories. I don't know if all of them, I, I'm pretty sure not all of them though. Um, in fact, that's a game I'm probably going to try to work out, is the 100% for the remake Wizard. Um, I was running through that in my head, and I think I could handle that one pretty quick. So uh, He has to. It's 100%. If he, uh, He's going to have to at least go see Erasmus. If he is a wizard, he will have to beat him in Mage's Maze. Yes, the game does look remarkably better. Uh, we did successfully win uh, Quest for Glory 2. The challenge run was a success. That will be up on VOD. It's done. Uh, I'm going to do a couple uh, agility trainings. Now we're doing the Wages of War 1, and so far it looks like it's doable. Uh, we are going to run into a little bit of trouble. going to run into a little bit of trouble, I think, with the um, monkey village. You know what? I can just test that now. I don't need to wait for the game. But I was able to find a way to get agility. I started with just one strength, and as a thief, you can uh, pay for trading with agility. Uh, the scrub is dead will be my save file. 
that was a reference to the uh, demon, or the, um, I'm sorry, the uh, gargoyle. The fighter any percent quest for glory run is my nightmare for the collection. Oh my gosh, that demon, the, this game is such a, a, ga a gateway for me in Quest for Glory 1. I'm not a combat guy. Anytime you put me in combat in these games, uh, I'm going to struggle. I will always look for a way around it. Let's find out if we can get into the Simbani Village. If we can get into the Simbani Village, we're fine. Or not the Simbani Village, the Monkey Village. If we get in the Monkey Village, we're fine. If we can't, there's nothing I can do, and this run is technically dead. Okay, I can't get up that way. Help. Rope. Vines. Swing line. We can get in. Okay, I'm gonna reload the game. Uh, this is good news. If you do not have, um, climbing as a thief you can get into the thing although you would get have climbing if you're a thief even if you start in quest for glory one you start with climbing um, but it's just really good to know that that is not a uh, that's not going to be a gateway for me right now though i'm training up uh, agility and strength uh, i need to fight one bad guy Starting to take some damage. You know what? I'm going to get myself up to like 300 strength. And then I'm going to try to fight the demon wizard. Or the demon. Agility is less important than strength is for uh, combat. At least for... Uh, whether or not you can hit something. So strength is the better category to go for. Unless I've got it backwards. I'm pretty sure it's I'm pretty sure it's weapon strength agility luck. Or weapon use strength agility luck. I've got like 30 more climbs on this thing. <laughs> definitely donate the wizard. I, uh, the donation incentive for the uh, EGA run is not up yet, but it will be on Friday morning. Either early in the morning if they speed up, or it'll be a reasonable time if you're in America. May end up with a nice early, uh, you know, breakfast run. I'll have my coffee and my microphone in front of me. I'll be on for commentary. Uh, so will uh, Twisted Nate. Uh, Darker Mist, as he is known, is on here. He'll be on there for commentary. And the runner for Secret of Mana at Game, uh, Games Done Quick, uh, Crow, is also a really prominent member of our speedrun community for this, so he will also be on. And his his commentary is so good and analytical. Yeah, and I will be there. I will be there, so. Yep, I will be there for part of it. My ultimate goal is to get the Any% percent collection run in. That has always been my dream my bucket list. It's been a part of RPG Limit Break. I've had the opportunity to run it there. I got no complaints. I got no complaints. I don't run the any percent, uh, the hundred percent categories often enough, and I don't, I'm not passionate enough about them to submit them on their own. So I, 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 I figure I'm either going to go collection any percent or bust. So and I've, I've busted out for literally like something like seven years now on it. So, <laughs> but I've got to meet a lot of good friends. I've um, gotten to know Mike Uyama pretty well. You know, not, I don't want to say I know him super well, but you know, we've had a lot of good conversations. Um, gotten to meet Bulligen, a lot of the other guys from Games Done Quick because I've run at RPG Limit Break. And uh, they're, just, they're just really good guys, just really nice guys. I'm excited to be a part of that. 
and David, jeez, David's a beast. He's been on for Shovel Knight. He's been on for, uh, he's done Blaster Master there. And now he's doing Quest for Glory. He's going to go for the hat trick of uh, Games Done Quick. There's not too many people I know that can say that. Okay, one there left, 243. We're getting there. It's just, it's just taking a while. It's just taking a while. I think it is agility and then strength. I think I got it backwards. But this is much faster than throwing rocks. At least it's much more consistent. You get three each time you go across. And I wait until it tells me I'm tired and then I rest again. Not the most exciting gameplay in the world for the challenge run. It's definitely taking longer, I think, than the uh, EGA will, because the EGA was done in under 40 minutes, and unless uh, the demon ends up being uh, not a big deal, then I'm probably going to be stuck. The nice thing is, is that as a thief, the demon automatically comes with half health, so I don't have to, like, totally go... Is it? Is it? Am I getting less than three now? 51. Let me check here. <laughs> no, I actually got four that time. Okay, uh, no, guess not. Yeah, so I shouldn't have, I, I won't have to hit him too many times. And my strength's going to be through the roof, so I'm, it's not like I'm going to have to necessarily worry about you know, hitting, you know, whether or not I'm hitting him hard. I will. When I hit him, I'm going to hit him hard. Um, it's just going to be a question of when I hit him. Because weapon use is zero, and that is the number one category um, by a very large margin for whether or not you hit large margin. <laughs> Pee Wee Herman. Uh, whether or not you're actually going to hit him, so. Okay, once we hit 300, I'm going for it. What could possibly go wrong? Um, it sounds like a challenge the way you put it there. <laughs> uh, I, probably. I don't know. Um, the game could crash six, seven times. Uh, it's Quest for Glory 3. That's actually more likely than not. Uh, I wonder if I could throw rocks at him until he dies. Probably not. I'm going to take a guess. Wild stab in the dark there. Apparently I'm so exhausted still that it's going to kill me. Yeah, it really was. Ash Lancer's 1.3 version patch is awesome because it really does fix a lot of those instabilities. Another thing, if you're running the GOG or Steam versions of this game that can really help uh, if you're in DOSBox, I mean, ScumVM does fix a lot of the crashes on its own natively, so I mean, you don't really have to worry too much about ScumVM, but if you're in DOSBox, we found that um, disabling uh, EMS, extended memory services, in the DOSBox configuration actually prevents the game from crashing. Uh, it's pretty much a necessity in Quest for Glory 1 VGA if you're going to do like a proper any percent because the game will eventually just run out of memory and crash. But by disabling, extended memory it seems to fix the problem go figure i don't i don't have an explanation for why it just does yes it's very disappointing actually i'm not even sure why that works that was like one of the first things we had to, i had to figure out and i and the nice thing was it was either crow or purry purry on the old uh, speed demos archive forums uh, figured that one out for me. CRT could not be future. Yeah, I know. Video games couldn't crash before video games. Alright, I should only have to do this like four more times. Alright, I'm exhausted. Jeez, this is tedious. Like 90 per like I'm gonna upload this to YouTube, and like four of the thumbnails that it offers me are all going to be this screen. <laughs> it's 
like I thought that Quest for Glory 2 ramming into that steel gate for like 10 minutes was going to be the tedious part. And it turns out no. It turns out I had no idea. I mean, for, uh, I am going from 1 to 300. It is going to take a while. I get that. Oh, for God's sakes. It's just clicking. And at least you've got some music in the meantime. It's... Oh, for God's sake. Come on. What is this, like Quest for Glory 1? It works sometimes and not others? That would make sense. These are both Those are both early VGA games. Okay, we've got it. Good enough. Let's give a... Uh, I'm going to save it Demon. And then I'm going to go to The Scrub is Dead and save there. So I have one in Demon. It's not what I wanted to do, but we're going to go with it anyway. Sure. A little extra agility is not going to hurt me. <laughs> He's great. I should feel like I should turn up the difficulty on the game so he falls more often. Ah, shoot. Ooh. You know what? I've never actually had this happen once the, uh... Uh, once the day night skip is finished. I'm hoping that I can still trigger the end game. Otherwise, I'm going to have to remember what the rest of the game looks like real quick. Let me quick safety save here. Yeah, uh, we're running into unknown territory here. Okay, 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 we're still good, we're still good, we're still good. Okay. If Rakesh can be set to follow, we're okay. Uh, make purchase, dispel potion purchase. problem is now I need to wait for this. A mental path that goes to the end game with only strength and agility. I'm coming up with little. For Quest for Glory 3? Ah, uh, this should be, this shouldn't be bad at all, actually. Uh, as long as I can kill the bad guy, we're okay. Okay, I've got to wait a full day. That's a problem because it is morning as I understand it. Yeah, it's day seven. Uh, whenever I leave here, I got to trigger the DDD skip again. Okay, good. Um,. Okay, it's not going to help me to do this here, so I might as well go train some agility and wait until nighttime, or at least whenever I can sleep to through to the next day. Uh, without the bug. Well, let's see. Let's talk through the route. If you were to say, oh shoot on my own set old setup there if you were well that's not necessarily a huge problem there is a glitch that you can use later in the game For example, if you can't steal the drum, if you can't actually walk the tightrope because you need a certain amount of agility to be able to actually get in to get the spear, you can actually trigger the dialogue again. The drum might be a little difficult. You are right on that. I'm not sure whether or not that would be an endgame 
scenario or not, I don't know if the game would let you get to that problem without it. What happens is, is that you get to the tightrope walking, you leave, and you wander the jungle again, and you can encounter Johari again, and she will take you on another walking sequence. When she takes you with another walking sequence, you get to the end, and, um... Oh, he's about to cross. I got excited there. I'm too impatient to wait right now. No kidding. <laughs> I don't want to cross. The, if I can cross this, it's going to take longer to uh, train this skill up. Um, I am taking damage, but I am increasing agility. Okay. Um, what that should do after you uh, encounter Johari again is it uh, takes you to the actual meeting with the chief. Whether or not you have the spear, um, it, it really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to those guys at all. You just um, hand them the drum. Uh, whether or not you can hand them the drum if you don't have it, though, uh, depends on whether or not the programmers figured that out. Um, <laughs> We found that a lot of times uh, the game expects you to only be able to get to a situation if you have done certain things. Well, we like for example, if you get to the end of Quest for Glory 4 into the final room, the game expects that you know the ultimate joke. We have found ways to never find the ultimate joke. Uh, at least there's one way in Quest for Glory in the original 1.0 disc. You can just get into the last room pretty quickly. Um, if you have a ridiculous setup that takes an entire game's worth of beating in order to run, but once you get up into that final room, you know the ultimate joke, and you can just say the ultimate joke. So the game assumes that you have it. That could be the same thing going on here with the drum. Speculation. Complete speculation. I haven't gone that, through that route in a very long time. Ah. <sighs> Too impatient to wait. Oh, this is going to be a long time. Well, I got nothing to do there, so... Yeah, it really does. Um, again, figuring... I only have one. What? No, I dropped my healing potions. God, I'm a scrub. <laughs> oh, well. I am taking some serious damage here. The problem is, is that time does not transition uh, once you do the... Um, oh, once you do the uh, Rakish skip. You know what, this is taking too long. I don't feel like waiting for the dispel potions. I feel like I should. But if I can beat one of them, I can technically beat both of them. And I will do a safety save here, just in case. At, uh, the scrub is dead. Let's go see if we can do this. If I could get the dispel potion, because I would reroute this, what I would do is I would go and immediately get the dispel potion uh, components uh, by going to the Simbani village. And if you go to the Simbani village right after doing the first EDD, it technically is nighttime. So what you do is you uh, go and get everything that you need, you run back for the dispel potion, you give everything to the guy who, to the apothecary, and you can sleep at the inn and you can immediately get the dispel potion the very next day. help. It's like pulling teeth trying to get this. Lost City. Vince Manu. Persuade me. Argue. Beg. To the end game. On the plus side, I already have the gem. 
One of the things I wasn't worried about is whether or not you needed climbing to get the gem in, in the Lost City. They actually programmed that with a zero climbing skill, so I was I knew I'd be okay there. I knew I'd be okay at that point. And it says 45 minutes. I think I didn't start the timer till like five minutes in, so uh, what we're going to do here is set ourselves to running now that I can and there's no check for that you can do that at any agility well, that's not good okay that's good this is the old way we used to skip this fight uh, you can use the arrow keys to run off screen and it immediately cancels the fight if you're off screen uh, a better way to do it is to cast the levitate spell. You levitate up, go immediately down, and you can run out of the screen. Way better. Just out of curiosity. Oh, you know what? I don't need to do a safety save there. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. No, I put me back a second. Ah! Actually excited that I found a way, um, found meaning in that old tactic we used. Uh, I'm gonna tell him about honor because um, I don't know. Maybe I'm bragging that I have none. Definitely not going to fight one of those guys. <laughs> okay, I don't... Th oh. I may need to sneak here, but... Maybe if I'm really, really lucky... Instant death. That's <laughs> sure. Good try. Oh, I can hit him. And I'm hitting him a lot. I am clicking like mad over on the right here to prevent myself getting hit. These guys are quite vicious. If I had magic, this wouldn't even be a fight. Um, there's a, a nice stun lock technique you can use on them, but... Uh... Yeah, it seems like I'm doing okay for stamina. I'm actually quite surprised. Uh, but the stamina bar can get uh, bugged out pretty easily in this game if you have lower than normal stats in some categories. So, for example, it might just be reading my zero vitality and bugging out my stamina bar. We'll know if I start taking damage real quick. This fight seem like it's actually going so much smoother. And I don't mean from the sake that I'm actually killing him, I mean like he, his movements seem smoother. One down. That's true, the triangle glitch is kind of nice. Uh, 21 health. If I get hit once, I'm dead. And I have no stamina here, so, uh, or no health. Well, 
Let's save a demon. Oh, he's got way more health now. I thought he didn't have health whenever you fought him here, but... Maybe that's if you skip the first one. I mean, my strength isn't going to go up. My agility theoretically could go up. But I've already proven I can beat this demon once, so I... I as long as they're not, like, two completely different stats, and this guy is as easy to hit as the other guy is. Ah, uh, he did. He did use the possessed, uh, Rikish. Or Rishika. Rishka. Rishaka. Yeah, Rishaka. Either way, the answer is yes, he did. Alright, just need to hit him like ten more times. It is, it is. I, I'm really not sure why they didn't include it. That I've never got a uh, answer for. I, I, I've never asked Corey that. That might be worth a question. But he might not remember. It was quite a long time ago. In case you're wondering how I'm not getting hit, you can pretty much just spam the, uh, the uh, right or left, uh, these like little triangle areas right here, and as long as you're spamming those, the bad guy cannot hit you. There are some limited exceptions to that that I do not understand. But it's pretty darn consistent for a thief. This is going far better than I thought it would. That's true. My, my health is so low that the um, that the mirror fight should be pretty darn quick. I have tried to skip the mirror fight in a number of ways. I've tried to skip this fight also. I can actually unlock my character in the last room and um, start moving around the room, but there's no door transition to the, um, to the next area. I can even get behind the rocks. I can actually get into that door and run around in the infinite void. You just, there's just nothing to do in there. There's no trigger. It's, it's cutscene based. Alright, I'm gonna wait till he hits me. I'm not liking this pattern. Nice. This is definitely gonna be my last run for the night, though. One of the things I like to see as things go on here is my weapon use get better, so that way, um, as your weapon use gets uh, better in the fights, you uh, begin to hit more during, and that becomes especially prevalent during the gargoyle fight, uh, being the worst, uh, most painful, tedious thing in all of Quest for Glory for my money. I hate that gargoyle with a Mel Gibson passion of the Christ. I hate that gargoyle. That's how passionate I am about that guard. Keep the thing. I think it's even more difficult if you don't have the uh, uh, paladin glitch that we use in Quest for Glory any percent runs. The fighter can get the paladin sword in this game if you glitch out the beginning of the game. You import a character as a paladin, cancel out, and then import it again as it's normal, and you can get the honor points of paladin scores. So you can begin to get the paladin abilities. 
the game never resets whether or not you are set to get the pallet and stuff. It's pretty awesome. Oh, come on, one more. Is that on Disney Plus? Is Cardwell's on Disney Plus? It should be. <laughs> got hit at the last hit. I got hit. Oh, if I had just waited for the Dispel Potion, or if I didn't just throw away my uh, Health Potion at one point, Healing Pills at one point. Until he hits every time. I wonder if there's. Well, I guess there is always a base to hit. I don't know what the ratio is for each character's. Uh, each enemy's combat, though. That's true. That is true. And I did do an import. I did do an import to get the character right. In fact, that's kind of the only way you can do the challenge run on Quest for Quarter, uh, on Wages of War. Uh, there is no debug mode that is even left in the code. You can't patch the debug mode in, as far as we know. In fact, the code seems to be completely lifted out of the game. There's references to it. I think the Where To button still works, but that's it. Brainiac's a good source of info for that. Yeah, memory editor is good too. Alright. I'm just waiting for him to swing and then taking my swing afterwards. I'm not getting greedy. Yeah, that's pretty cool. some reason, I'll go on like a streak where I hit him like six or seven times in like a minute, and then it takes me like three minutes to hit him again. It's so frustrating. See what I mean? Why does this demon have nipples? It's nice to know that I have one chance to not get hit here. Come on, don't just die, man. Actually, doesn't surprise me. Totally different engine. In fact, I think they made that engine and used it only for that game. Yeah, that'll fix you right up. I mean, I'm not going to. I don't even have any health potions. Or weapon use, or any skills that would be relevant for healing. I have strength and agility. 
agility because I spent 50 gold on it. Man, that took a long time. But I'm glad that this is going to get work. Okay, I, to be fair, I don't know if it's going to work yet. I don't know that. It should work. I am definitely doing a safety save before the demon, though. You can die in the demon fight if you are exceptionally unlucky. I always like to see whether or not there's any way to glitch this room out. If we could glitch this room out and we could run, that would that would be amazing. That would be like a, a minute save or like at least 30 seconds. I'll agree with that. I'll agree with that, Brainiac. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, it's definitely time for me to stop here, so... This is good. It's good that we're getting to the end. Perfect. Low enough health. Because I am a... Uh, compliant guy, we are going to do this the old fashioned way. Perfect. And that's the game. You can, in fact, beat Wages of War with one strength. Unbelievable. I feel like I know that reference and I can't figure out what it is. Mm. Oh, the Oppenheim. Thank you. Yes, I do. Again, if it if it's anything after like 1500, 1600, my I, I can't remember it. I'm I, as I said it earlier in the stream, I'm a medieval. Member. Okay, it has been proven. You can in fact beat Quest for Glory three, Wages of War, starting with only one strength. It's tedious, but it can be done, and it doesn't take necessarily a long time. It's not like some of those other ridiculous challenge runs where, uh, I mean, can you beat Pokemon without getting hit? I mean, I, I watched uh, Game Champ 3000 do that one, just about lost my mind because anytime he got hit, he like restarted and he did it. Like, I mean, it was it was nuts. Like, it took masochism to the next level. But this is uh, definitely one that I'm uh, a little happy about. It might not be. Uh, actually, I think it is. Okay, in a tool-assisted run, probably not, uh, because you could m memory manage whether or not you were actually going to get your hits to connect, because you wouldn't have any stamina. Each attack that you did would drain your health, and you would never gain your health back, and you would gain no stamina back. So, that could make things a little tedious. Is it theoretically possible? Yes. Is it theoretic, mathematically likely? No. That's why it would need to be a test. All right. I am uh, finished for tonight. This is a good time to stop. 11 o'clock is usually my quit time. Guys, this has been fun. Uh, we managed to get through two of the challenge runs, and I guess the next logical place to go is to Shadows of Darkness and see whether or not it's done. can be done. And uh, I think the answer is yes. I think the answer is yes. The more I think about that one, it's going to be a little uh, a little interesting, to, to say the least, but I, I definitely think it can be done. Uh, thanks, Prince Shaw. Brainiac, thank you. Razzle Dazz. Yeah, I'm going to have to use debug mode to make that one work, though. I will have to use the Quest for Glory 4 debug mode to make that one work. Either way. All right, everybody. Have a good night. Take it easy, guys.